a lot of the research that we've done over the years um, suggests that people in the community or future students, potential students, perhaps uh, think that college is out of reach for them. They think they can't afford it. They think they maybe um, don't have good enough grades to get into college. So we wanted to come up with a campaign that helped address those concerns and even alleviate them. So we basically asked people why they think they can't come to college and told them that we would get in touch with them personally to uh, help provide a plan that might make their dreams possible. I'm a single mother of one beautiful two-year-old boy, Hayden. For the last six months, I've been working two jobs. I work at the hospital in Brooks as a clerk in health records full-time and was working three to four nights a week as a waitress. I'm stressed out about not being able to pay bills, rent, daycare, car payment, insurance, food, diapers, etc. I cannot possibly think how I could ever afford to pay for school. My mom is a great support system and would be a great help with my son if there is a way for me to pursue an education. My dream would be to complete a Bachelor of Social Work and get a great job to be able to give my son everything he needs and also be there for him instead of working all the time. I have heard a lot about grants and other programs for single parents, but I have no idea where to start. I'm willing to do anything. I really hope you can help me. Thank you. I called Mary right away and uh, found out that she was in Brooks and would have some difficulty coming to meet me here at the college. Uh, at that point, uh, we'd worked out a schedule. I was going to be in Brooks for their, their uh, open house, so I thought, well, let's try to make this work. I was so amazed that they went through all that work to get a hold of me. And it's just a matter of us meeting with them and breaking down those barriers, trying to find a solution to their problems. Uh, the solutions are out there, we just have to dig a little deeper for, for certain individuals. When we get them into the office, it's, it's a really great opportunity for us to, to find out what they're looking for, what are their goals, what are their aspirations, and how can we assist them with that. Our support services, our staff are wonderful. We we'll go out of our way, we stay late, we'll come in early, we'll, we'll do whatever we can to make sure that the student experience here is, is fabulous. Well, we could check it out to see what's possible because they may even have I can say without a doubt we have fabulous people and they, they are passionate about servicing students. Yeah, I really did feel that this is a great opportunity for us to help people who might think otherwise of coming to college. The small things are huge things to them. We may look at it as part of our jobs, we're, we're you know, opening doors for them, we're turning lights on for them, that as part of our everyday life, for them it's huge. When, when a student's coming back to school and they're walking through that door for the first time, if the first person they see makes them feel like this is really where they belong, that's a huge thing. I think Medicine at College has a, is very superior with that and they really like to help students and that makes it um, an opportunity for all students to be successful. According to the program, the number of um, upgraded courses they only complete. When we put the campaign together, we knew that we were really going to be relying on the uh, efforts of a lot of staff here on campus. Our team can put the marketing out there, but we don't necessarily have the knowledge or the expertise to uh, provide the assistance that these respondents needed. We are so proud and impressed of all of the people here on campus that were able to help out all of our respondents. It's very important to sit and chat with them, talk with them, take some time to determine what it is that they love to do, what, what lights them up, because that really is what's going to send them on to be happy and complete their goals. I guess I remembered how I was feeling that day and that I wrote all that and now it's actually happening for me and like I'm just waiting for the last step to follow through and I'll be going to college. <laughs> I'll be in college. Thank <laughs> you.